Hey guys, how's it going? Tracy here. So today I'm going to be filming a very probably long video, which all my videos are long. So yeah, um, I went to Mac three different times because I'm crazy and I love makeup. And for some reason, every single time I go in there, I have to spend a million dollars. So um. I did buy a couple things also at Sephora, so I decided just to throw them all in here, but mostly this is going to be a MAC haul. So we are going to do MAC first. So like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here, but it was three tri trips in like, <laughs> probably like two weeks. So yeah, yeah. I have a problem. That's alright though. It's cool. You make people look beautiful. That's Okay. So me rambling, talking to myself, whatever. Okay. So I picked up just the basics of what I needed um, for my face, like foundation, concealer, blah, blah, blah. So I did pick up another of uh, the Skin Finish in Light Plus. It's just like regular packaging. I don't like their new packaging. But it's just my skin tone at the moment. Um, it's just, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. It's just a powder for your face. Um, it's really nice. I super love all of their um, powders for like their face and their foundations are awesome. So I picked up one of those because I needed one. Mine was almost empty. The next thing I picked up was uh, this blush. And I think I might actually have this blush. I don't have very many MAC blushes, but I know there was a girl in beauty school that kept talking about this, and this is Melba. So I'm not going to swatch this one because I'm pretty sure I have it. I'll probably give it to a friend because I don't want to have to go and return it because it's just a hassle. So, Melba. Um, Alright, so I went, let's see here. So, I went and got um, two of the matte concealers. The one that I currently use right now is NW20. Um, it's just a basic concealer. Um, what my foundation is right now is NC20. So I feel like this NCW is a little bit lighter. So I like concealing with this. And then I ended up also getting, um, NC15. If I really, really want to contour and like make it super light. So I thought, why not give it a go? So that's much paler than um, NW20. I have that. And then I ended up getting three um, what you call it? Uh, three lip liners. I can't talk today. Um, I got subculture. And I, so just like a, I'll swatch it, super, I can't even see, really nudie, um, brown, uh, something in for every day. And then I got Boldly Bear and Oak. And I went to like three different Macs to get these, you guys. So that's how crazy I am. So, Boldly Bear. I've never had. Everybody raves about it and says that I need it. So, Boldly Bear is the second one. So let's write that one. Oh, do you guys like my nails? They're so pretty. Got that done two days, like yesterday. So I got that one. And then I got Oak because it's a little bit deeper. 
and I thought it would be really pretty to do like a natural look with this and I know it's really deep but it's really pretty so that one right there and then when I went into the store to get um, boldly bear the lady told me she's like they always are running out running out running out and then um, one of the girls asked because I couldn't remember what it was called and for some reason when someone stares right at me my mind goes blank and I knew I was looking for everything else and I was like uh and then the girl's like i hope you're not looking for it's whirly or worldly and she, and i was like no and she like high five me and she's like thank god and some craziness because i guess everybody's been wanting that because um kylie jenner said that that was the lip liner that she was using i am yeah. i don't really keep up to date for that kind of stuff so yeah so, next we have, um, I'm not a big fan of MAC Shadows, but everybody says that um, brown script is really nice, and it's a matte, so, you know, crease, color. So, I ended up getting that one. It's like a reddish brown, so I thought it was pretty. And I will use it. I want to get a Z palette or something so I can stick those in there. And then I ended up getting a pigment. This was in Rose. I thought that was super, super pretty. And then for... And then the problem with me going into MAC. I got all of these... I don't even know if you can see them all. All of these lipsticks. Because I love their lipsticks. They're amazing. They're awesome. So let's just get into it. So I got Honey Love. And you can tell you guys I've been kind of getting more into like nudes and stuff. So got that. So Honey Love. thought that was really pretty. And I picked this out and the girl kept telling me. She's like, are you sure you don't want to try it on? Are you sure you want this color? Are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. I'm a makeup artist. I need this shit in my kit. So, we'll see if I can swatch it up for you. It's really pretty though. So that's um, Honey Love. And then I got St. Germain, which you know, I have not picked this up yet and I've wanted it for a long time. So I just picked it up and everybody knows it's that really pretty candy bubble. Um, bubblegum Barbie pink and it is super bright and vibrant and it is just gorgeous oh, back. by far beautiful and the next one I got is a Morris a Morris this is more another like nudier colors but a little bit darker so I got that one Gorge. Get my little handy dammy. I actually brought a wipe this time, so that's good. Because I wanted to swatch all these for you guys. So I got that one. This one I think would be really pretty for like, um, like winter, but. Gorge. All amazing. I don't even know. This is one reason why I love YouTube because I would never probably have bought these colors if it wasn't for YouTube. Because you can see everything that everyone has. And then I finally picked up Angel. I didn't know if I was going to. Just throw that over there. Just because it's a, and it is a frost and everybody says that. Um, what's their face? Kardashian. Um, where is it? And for it being a frost, I feel like it's really, um, it's got a lot of pigmentation to it. So something like probably like an everyday wear where you could just, um, you don't need like a, you don't need like a mirror or anything. And then I did get candy yum yum. It's gorgeous neon, um, pink. So I had to have it. 
so beautiful. And I will do a MAC, my lipstick, my MAC lipsticks sometime video. I just have, I just want to get all my stuff set up before I do that. So candy yum yum. Sorry guys. And then I got Velvet Teddy. I knew I got Velvet Teddy. I'm glad that I didn't buy another one because sometimes I buy doubles of stuff and I'm like, why did I buy that? So I, I make a lot of lists in my phone um, to tell me like which ones I bought and which ones I haven't because if I don't, I'll just keep buying the same stuff. And then this one is the Teddy Velvet Teddy. And that one's right there. Super pretty. Very pretty. And then I got neon orange because I saw it and I thought it was pretty. So this is an amplified. Really, really, you guys. That'd be really pretty in the summer. So, mmm. Beautiful, gorgeous. And then last but not least, I got bronze shimmer. And I know this is definitely not like an everyday wear. It was something um, for Halloween this year, I want to be like a bronze goddess. So I'm gonna take um, gold deposit and put that all over my face and my hands and my body. And then um, I thought this would be a really cool, lip, good lipstick to use with that. It's like 100% gold, bitch. Styling. This is really pigmented, too. And this is a frost. But I just thought it was so pretty. So those are all the lipsticks that I got from MAC. And then that's everything I did get from back. And then um, Sephora, um, I used this already. I just repurchased the all-nighter spray. I've been kind of getting away from NYX um, setting spray. Sorry, you guys. But um, I had a gift card for uh, Christmas, so I decided to use it. And I really like this stuff. I mean, and NYX is good, too. But this stuff's really, really good. And then I ended up getting a mask. I got the Honey Mask, and this is supposed to be nourishing and balancing, so definitely we'll try that out. What else? And then I also bought um, Five Night Fix for Lips, the Bite. You get the, see. you get the lip mask, which I've always wanted to try, a lot of people tell me. And then you get like a little lip balm, really nude. So I thought those are super cute. And it's cute that it comes like in a little bottle. I might keep the bottle because that's cute. And then the next, um, oh, and I also got makeup wipes for MAC. I've never used them before, but I decided why not? Let's try it. And then I finally tracked down um, the Anastasia palette. I've been waiting for this thing forever because every single more place I go to, it's always sold out. And I have $20 with points at Ulta and they're like, oh, we're just not going to get it anymore because it's been like back to order for like two months. And I'm like, oh, hey, bitch. Well, you're not taking my 20 bucks. So that's what it is. Very nice, pretty. I haven't played with it yet, but I will sometime soon in the future. So... And I know I'm always late on the bandwagon, but things are expensive. And then I ended up getting these um, eye masks from um, Shishudo. Shishuduo. And I really have like fine lines right here because of tanning. So I thought that these would be, they say like they can help with anti-wrinkles and stuff. There is a 15 minute mask so I thought these were really good to try. And then the last thing I bought was the Glam Glow. Um, 
mask because everybody talks about this and they always say the black one is the best. And I have oily to combo skin, so decided to give that a whirl. So yeah. So you guys, that was everything that I have to show you. Nothing too crazy and spectacular. I'm so tired. Oh, I went to go see Jupiter the Ascending. It was awful. Don't go see it. It's horrible. But yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. I'm sorry that it was a little weird and awkward. I just, uh, I'm in a funk today. I don't know. But yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. See ya.